This is the Tennis Nerd review of the Prince Phantom Pro 93P. This is one of the most anticipated rackets among tennis nerds in recent years. Uh, a mid-size 93 square inch racket with a 61 RA stiffness, a razor thin beam and an 1820 string pattern. This racket is obviously packed with control and feel, but is it good enough from the baseline? I have recently reviewed the Angel Custom TC90, which is an even smaller head size, so the transition to a 93 square inch with a generous sweet spot wasn't difficult at all. I was a bit concerned in the beginning about the string pattern being 1820, which is a tight string pattern for a, a mid-size racket, but I think it offered just about the right amount of control and quite decent spin, potentially from the head shape, which is, is really round with the Phantom series. The standout feature of this racket, I think, was how fast it moved through the air with the 16mm to 20mm beam. So I really felt like that box beam made it easy to serve and slice and volley and move it around the net. So I think this is one of the biggest benefits with the Prince Phantom series is that the thin beam makes it so easy to get good action on your swing and a good swing speed. So like with the TC90 that I just reviewed, I felt this racket really shines when you attack with it, when you move towards the net, when you try to hit your shots and, and aim for the lines. Uh, it's a much more difficult racket to defend with, often when I had to reach uh, out into the corners to dig up a ball and get it back into the court, it landed either in the net or short and made it an easy target for my opponent. So this is really not a racket for you who likes to hang around the baseline and are a kind of a defensive player. Uh, you really need to hit with good racketed speed, attack the ball, move in and then you really have a nice racket in your hands. This racket also reminded me of the Wilson Pro Staff 85, which is a leg legendary racket used by uh, Pete Sampras and Stefan Edberg. Uh, it really has that same feel from the box beam, really stable when you hit the volley, and um, despite having a small head size, you can really be creative around the court, create good angles, drop shots, uh, and play attacking tennis. This racket is an absolute dream for a serving volley player or someone who likes to attack the net and uh, kill off points quickly. It is one of the best uh, mid-size rackets I've tested probably ever, I would say. I think it's a really impressive racket from Prince and I have to commend them for even releasing a 93 square inch racket in today's top spin uh, game. So kudos for that. I, I think a lot of mid-size racket lovers will enjoy this stick. Uh, I sure did, and I would gladly take it into a tournament uh, if it was played on faster courts. Uh, in a clay court tournament, I don't think there is enough forgiveness to really play long baseline rallies. So then I think I'm much better off with a larger uh, head size racket. That's really my personal opinion. Uh, definitely one of the best mid-size rackets I have ever played, but not enough margin for error for, uh, for my taste. Thanks for watching the review and following Tennis Nerd.
Nice, nice.